things Finding the hell Tickets Oh my god That's my baby Kara Hey y'all And this is another random chit chat Get ready with me I decided to I actually like doing these So It's lit I was gonna listen to some music But I don't wanna get copyrighted or whatever So I Moisturize my face with this Clinique Um Focus The Clinique Moisturizing Um whatever step three then i use the benefit pore professional the matte um matte rescue and then the makeup forever where is it focus then i use the makeup forever step one matte uh primer and y'all did my eyebrows with the nyx brow gel and the mac studio finish concealer my sticker came off just like just now it's the NW35. It probably is not going to focus on that, but. <laughs> and I just spray my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray Rose Water. I've been doing this routine and my makeup been lasting long. I don't know what in the routine has made my makeup last it long, but I'm going to keep doing it like that. So. Yeah, or whatever. But. This is like a spur of the moment to do your makeup, get ready with me because my friend called me and was like, you want to go to the hookah lounge? And I was just like, I ain't got nothing else to do. You know how you want to go somewhere, but you don't want to go somewhere, but I have FOMO, so, um, sorry, I'm getting text messages. I have FOMO, I mean Instagram posts, I have FOMO, like, I keep saying that, I have FOMO, I have FOMO, I have the fear of missing out. So, I'm going to go. And I got this huge pimple. Every time I wash my hair, I get, like, a pimple on my face. Like, what? I don't know why that happens. Like, it never fails. Every time I wash my hair, I get a pimple. And it's just like, where are you coming from? Wherefore art thou pimple? Like, why are you here? Like, why are you here with me right now? Like, what is, what do you, what is your purpose? Like, it never fails every time i wash my hair and i just be like sis what you doing why leave me alone but what y'all been doing nothing i haven't been doing nothing either i've been trying to like i've been trying to like be cool and be stress free but you know i was so stressed out about my patho test y'all that was coming up because i studied but i didn't study study and the lord came through and i made a 93 if y'all watch my vlog y'all would know well i don't know if the vlog gonna be up by the time y'all see this video so this might be up before the vlog if i post this so yeah but i did not wet my beauty blender i'll be back hold on i'm back but anyways, like I was saying, um, I've been like low key stressing because of Patho. Like Patho had me, oh so stressed out. Like Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. I feel like this color too light for me, but at the same time, I feel like I could work with it. But I'm gonna go buy Rich too. It's the color after this, cause Tan is the one every, all the light skin YouTubers use, and I'm like, nah, I can't use that. So I use Tan Sand, but the bottle. What look like in a bottle compared to what is on your face is like really brighter than that. So rich look like my skin color. So I was just like, no, I don't need rich. But I'm going to get rich because this is a little bright for me. But I be making it work. And I would have took it back, but I make it work. Well, and I'm lazy and I haven't been to Ulta. So, but oh, I put a lot. I didn't mean to. But I'm going to work it out. Jesus, we will work it out. Like I was saying, I've been stressed with school a little bit, but spring break, I literally did nothing. But I wish I would have did schoolwork, and that's sad. Like being a nursing major or a pre-nursing major, it's hard. Like, like studying is your entire life, and I'm not even all the way in the program yet. Like, what? Like, bro, bro. Like, if I'm not going to have a life at all when I get into the program. Like, I am not going to have a life at all whatsoever. I'm not going to have one when I get into the program. Like, I feel it in my bones. Like, because right now, I, 
low key be regretting doing stuff like oh I could be studying right now like that's how I feel like oh I could be studying oh I could be doing this oh I be thinking about shit like school work all the time <laughs> oh it's just like what did y'all hear uh how y'all feel about Drake's new album one I feel like it was cool I haven't really got into it like I can't get into it and I love the hell out of Drake like I am a Drake fan like a Drake fan so I'm just really sitting here like how can I not get into this why am I not getting into this album I like six songs let me tell y'all the six songs I like because I added the six songs to my playlist hold on y'all hello Yes, ma'am. I was showing y'all. Let me see. More Life. What do I... What songs I like off of More Life? I download them. I like Passion Fruit. I like Madiba, Rumbia. Whatever that is. I like 4422, Teenage Fever, Since Way Back, for, um, Fake Love, of course. And I like Portland Sacrifices and Nothing in the Something. So, like the last leg of the album. I mess with it. I haven't listened to Rick Ross' album, and I like Rick Ross. Like, I'm not like a fan, but I I mess with his music. So, and y'all probably like she been blending in this concealer forever, but y'all like this concealer is too bright, so I gotta blend. I can't be out here looking, can't be out here looking ashy. Like, uh uh, and I'm about to set with y'all know who she is, Sasha Buttercup. But yeah, I'm really messing with um, kind of messing with more life. What else? has been going on Chris Brown dropped privacy today and of course I'm a love it I love Chris Brown so I would love anything he put out that that's my baby what like what do you mean what do you mean I'm not going heavy with the Sasha Buttercup because this can feel up right so of course I'm a love privacy but I've been waiting on privacy like they be playing they be he put putting um little I keep stuttering he be putting little shits up of the sample of the song on Instagram and I just be like drop that hoe already damn and I look super bright but I'ma fix it y'all I'ma look together and why y'all let me do that dark ass contour I'm on y'all heads bro like nobody was gonna tell me my contour was too dark like I'm on everybody's head like everybody's head on my way okay well that means I kind of got a semi rush but I'm not but I'm not on my way who do you think you are who do you think you are telling me you are your way <laughs> oh, I just got started but uh I didn't even got my lashes though yikes 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 that's how I feel Mr. Krabs and also today in celebrity in celebrity news reporting live from my room I um Trey Songs Trey Songs as don't mention August I'll see the name on the Breakfast Club and y'all know that nigga August is a fool like he be in his little peaceful town by himself and then August go uh what August said he said what did this man say he gonna make a whole picture and was like uh I gotta go read it. Hold on. It's in my phone. I screenshot it and I put it on Twitter because look, honey, that's T. He said, fuck, freak. I mean, I keep cussing. I'm gonna have to bleep out all the cuss words. He said, and I quote, when niggas mention your name in an interview talking about catching phase, but you already offered several phase years ago and will still gladly beat his goofy ass and be cool later. At Trey Songs, stretch back, stretch before you reach next time nigga and don't mention my name back to the real world but he posted this cute ass motherfucking picture like I guess I seen him fine people be like that nigga gay <laughs> the finest gay nigga I know like what <laughs> but no I don't think he's gay like I do not think he's gay at all I love August I've seen like him and Chris Brown y'all know I love skinny light skinned niggas I don't know why like I ain't never just mess with no skinny light skinned niggas so well but I, okay, let me take that back. I don't know why, like, the dudes I talk to be, like, big. Like, the dudes I've talked to 
are like big like like I don't know how to describe it other than they be big bro like they don't be like huge but they be like in there in size like I ain't never just talked to no skinny ass nigga so I don't my but my preference is light skin skinny ass niggas and it's just like I never seem to talk to them like what how how sway how sway I don't understand so I be confusing myself with that shit. I be like, bro, this thing is not your standard at all. But I'm also attracted to like, not just looks. Like I'm make me laugh, like giggle. Fat niggas is funny. Like it's a proven fact. It's uh, it's a proven fact. Fat niggas is funny in my opinion. Like what? Like they funny as hell. They is funny as hell. Hold on, y'all. I had to check in the light to see if my contour was good because y'all like i was calling y'all fake before i started about talking about celebrity drama i was just going straight in with the darkest contour but look i looked at my my nigga leah j and she was like you go you you gradually build i never knew what this was for like this was to calm it down first then you go in with the darker color so i had to go make sure because my lighting in my room is kind of shitty but i didn't want to put my ring light up on and all that other extra shit because I'm just getting ready to go somewhere. Like, I'm not staying and filming. But, yeah. So, I don't remember what I was saying. I'm just motherfucking rambling and a bit rambling. I'm not putting on, um, I'm not putting on eyeliner. These lashes is, like, at they la on their last leg. But they, they on their last leg, but they not all the way there yet. So, what we finna do? Use them. Them. I just really wish my girl Paris Hilton would restock Dynasty and she restocked some other lashes and they're really cute but it was just like a lot to pick from and I'm indecisive so I really don't make good decisions under pressure and I feel like when it's a whole bunch of lashes I was under pressure they all cute though they all was cute but I just couldn't make like that decision on my own it was really tough for me it was really tough for me so, yeah, and y'all, I discovered a gem. Now, I don't know why I just put this lash glue, wrong lash glue, oh my God. Where is it? There it is, not that lash glue, but this lash glue, star glue, my best friend Kiana put me on from the beauty supply. Bro, it's lit and it's cheaper than Duo. Cause Duo, Duo is hot as hell and it smells like twat. And I just don't like it. But Star Glue, I was just like, I kept buying it because it was good quality glue. Because that Kiss Glue kind of suck. Well, it do. Not kind of. It do suck. And I was just using it because, you know, when you buy stuff, you're going to use it till it's up. And you don't have to buy nothing again. But I went and bought this Star Glue in dark and clear. And I'm going to re-glue it. I'm going to re-put the glue on the other lash. Yeah, but I went and bought this Star Glue. It dry fast. It's, it's lit. And it's thick. So, unless I just feel like, you know, being a bankroll be that day, I'm going to keep buying this Star Glue. And I'm low-key, like, unpacking my makeup bag as I do my makeup. Because I haven't unpacked my makeup bag since I've gotten home from my trip. From spring break. Spring break was cool. I didn't really do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I'm not going to sit here and say... I ain't really do nothing. All I did was went to South Austin, South by Southwest, and we didn't even, like, get to go in any concerts, y'all. We really didn't get to go in no concerts. I was kind of pressed about that because it was my first time at South by Southwest, and I'm a music head. If you did know, like, I am a music head. I listen to everything. I critique everything, like, like I'm in the industry. So I was really looking forward to stuff, but it was just, like, bourbon for me, like, it was just like going to New Orleans and it was just like bourbon for me because we didn't really, you know, like, get to do nothing. Like, I had a good time, but it wasn't just like, oh my gosh, I love South by Southwest and what the hell fuck am I? No, no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that whatsoever, sis. So, I was just honestly, truly chilling. There they is. Lashes is on. Lashes is on, but you can tell these hoes on their last leg. But hey, listen, I'm being a dark anyway, so it really don't even matter. It don't even matter, though. It don't even matter. What I was gonna say, I forgot what I was about to say that fast again because I got sidetracked. My mouth was open.
And I was also recently taught that you don't take your dark contour around your forehead. <sighs> Y'all. I got dream gems drop dropped on me. I can't talk. I got gems dropped on me and you ain't even know it. You ain't even know it. I'm about to throw this light brown color from this tart palette in my crease. So give me a little color. Y'all, this is literally a rush job. Don't follow these instructions at home. <laughs> I'm just putting this up to just this up and talk to the child. And of course, never leave home without it. Go deposit. Before I do that, spray. Let's set it spray. I feel like my spray Monado on my setting spray don't ever spray where I want it to go. And it's just like, no, go right here. Go right here. I'm about to take this gold deposit. While wow, it's still wet. Got the little glow. Y'all, I'm literally rushing because my friend was like, oh my way, as y'all saw. Sorry, y'all. My camera got overheated. But all I did was put gold deposit and then I put Becca Topaz on top. And I just lined my lips with brown liner and put on black eyeliner under there i'm starting to not like black eyeliner i don't know why and this is kylie in um i hope it focuses probably not whatever this is dolce k and i need to get some more because i ran out of this hella fast like and i don't be having time to like Put my lipstick on all cute and stuff look i got a lot to cover in a little bit of time so i gotta put it on and spread it put it on and spread it sis and i'm convinced that i'm leaving the house with this top knot twist bun and i'm gonna just do me some baby hairs so after i do my baby hairs and put whatever i'm gonna put on on i'm gonna come back and fuck with y'all so hold on Hold on. So, this is the final look. This shirt is from Fashion Nova. A Gossi. I think I'm going to throw my glasses on. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later.